Hey, what's up you guys? It's your girl Judy here with my life as Geek Eye. In today's video, I'm going to be going through 10 makeup trends for the year of 2018 according to Harper's Bazaar. I was doing some makeup research the other day and I stumbled across this article talking about makeup trends for the year of 2018. So this article was released on December 19, 2017. So a month before 2018 even happened. And it seems that they're all just trends that are coming out on the catwalk. And honestly, in real life, ain't nobody got time for that. So unless they had a crystal ball, these predictions aren't as hyped as they made them out to be. It's now September by the time this video is released and these trends that they said were gonna be hot in 2018, I don't know, you be the judge of that. Just keep watching this video and tell me if you think these are really 2018 trends. So let's go. Okay, so it says these are the biggest makeup trends for 2018. Oh, by the way, this black lipstick, I put it on for fun in my uh, Jeffree Star makeup collection video, but um, after a while I was actually really feeling it, so I thought I'd just put it on for this video, you know? Okay, so this article says, these are the biggest makeup trends for 2018. Get your black eyeliner ready, baby. Number one, it says black attack. And it's this photo here of an Asian lady with some really dramatic black eyeliner. Okay, so it says black eyeliner is taking a dramatic trend in 2018 as seen at Marc Jacobs and a handful of other runway shows. Now, I don't know about you, but I ain't never been to a Marc Jacobs runway show, much less a runway show, much less a fashion show. Anyway, you get the point. Damn, I don't even have a high-end eyeliner to do this look with. <laughs> this lady in the photo has black eyeliner basically all around her eyes. So let's uh, let's just do that. I feel like this was a bad idea. I'm gonna try and do the same on the other side. I don't know about you, but I haven't seen Jaclyn Hill or Desi Perkins or Jeffree Star, or maybe Jeffree Star, but who knows. <laughs> I haven't seen any of the big beauty gurus wearing eye shadow like this, but apparently, according to the catwalk in Harper's Bazaar, this was gonna be a trend in 2018, but I ain't seen nobody wearing this yet. So uh, number two, it says shop the look. Uh, it screams paid advertising. Mark Jacobs, matching market position, can waterproof liquid eyeliner from Sephora for thirty dollars. Uh, no thanks. I'll just use my Bonnie's Choice eyeliner, which is the bomb and costs four dollars. Number three, it says bullets are back. It says uh, after years of liquid lipstick domination, the humble bullet is back. Sure, some makeup companies have been releasing bullet style lipsticks again, but I still think liquid lipsticks pretty damn huge and people are still using liquid lipsticks. So maybe it's just me, I don't know. Are you using bullet style lipsticks or are you still using liquid lipsticks? Who knows? This one is now marketing Kylie Cosmetics lipsticks. $17 each. Mm, just buy NYX creamy lipsticks. They're really super freaking good and they're like half the price. Apparently they're back. Um, it's now September. No, they're not. Number four. It says glitter will have gone super size in 2018 if the runways are any indication. Guys, I don't know who's writing these articles in uh, Harper's Bazaar, but we're all just normal people. We all work full-time jobs. Well, I know most of us work full-time jobs and uh, ain't nobody got time in the morning to get dressed up like a, a runway model and put rhinestones in their freaking eyes. Okay? It says rhinestones, gems, and sequins are the new way to wear sparkly stuff adhered on your eyelids and around your eyes using lash glue. Oh my god. No. Um, no. Festival rhinestones? I mean, like, who wears that? How is that a trend? Oh my god. Maybe if you're like a crazy rich Asian, you would put rhinestones around your eyes to go shopping, but I mean, not me. So I'm just gonna go stick with my uh, Stila glitter things. Stick with the proper glitter that normal people use. So apparently we're putting this glitter around our eyes. This model in the photo has it around her eyes. So I'm gonna apply my glitter eyeshadow right where she has it. I'm not sticking rhinestones near my eyes. <laughs> okay, so that that's that's pretty, right? I mean, that that's a trend we could all get on board with, maybe. I mean, it, it was predicted by the top 
fashionistas and models and it's September and I haven't really seen anyone else doing this in their videos yet but uh, let's keep going number five it's talking about Rihanna's highlighter called trophy wife I saw this highlighter all over YouTube it made a fair bit of noise when it was released I mean, the noise died down just as quickly as it started and, you know, people forget about it. And now, honestly, ain't nobody talking about it. Except for me, right now. Now, I don't have it here with me to show you because I'm a broke-ass bitch. Here is probably the next best thing. This one is a $6 ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the shade Telepathy. This is what I'm going to be using today. This says this perfect yellow gold metallic pigment that can and should be all over your face. So, um... I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna apply it exactly where uh, the model has it in the photo. But just with my fingers, because ColourPop shadows apply the best with your fingers. Actually, kind of like that in a weird, crazy way. She doesn't have any on her nose, but I'm gonna put some there anyway. Okay, so that kind of ruined my eyeliner, but that's okay, because this color is so pretty, you would forgive it for doing anything. But number six isn't a trend, it's another advertisement. It says shop the look and it's telling you where you can buy Trophy Wife, the highlighter. Currently it's $34 from Sephora.com. I'm guessing that that's an American prize because anything in Australia, Sephora is $100 or more. I'm just exaggerating. It says if you have dark skin, you can go a little wild and layer Trophy Wife anywhere and everywhere everywhere. The ColourPop Super Shock Shadow is only $6. Okay, number seven, finally! Here's a trend that they were right on the money. This one is called Glow Getter. This is a product that I can actually get behind because the cost of it is right up my money-saving ass alley. They're talking about ColourPop's Super Shock Cheek Highlighters. Over the Moon, the shade they're talking about, but I don't have that one, but I do have Another one. Another one. DJ Khaled! Another, Another massive makeup moment in 2018 will be the rise of ultra highlighted skin. Okay, now, this is where the article is spot on. It says, the glowier, the better. It applies best to the fingers. Hello? Hello? Oh. NASA called. They want their moon back. Is this video going to be taken down because of that? <laughs> In case you guys didn't notice before, I've got an upper lip now. Number eight, well-rounded. It says, the cat eye flick is getting a new look in 2018. Instead of tracing an ultra sharp ring, round up the edge instead, as seen on Bella Hadid at the Jason Wu show. And hmm, apparently Bella Hadid's makeup artist was in a hurry when he or she did her makeup at the Jason Wu show because um, it looks like this. It looks like he couldn't get the flick right that day, so uh, he said, stuff it, let's make it a trend. They say use a small makeup sponge applicator, but let's just be real. Just start with what you usually do, you know, trying to get uh, that sharp wing. And then you just like inevitably stuff it up, so you round off the edge instead, because, you know, apparently that's a trend. So we're gonna do that. They say follow the trend, so. If you stuff up your eyeliner, thank Bella Hadid's makeup artist, apparently it's a trend now. That's even harder than normal eyeliner to get the same on both sides. Just gets thicker and thicker. That's what she said. <laughs> is that a trend? I don't think so. Ooh, okay, so number nine is a trend that was actually right on the money. It says metallic makeup in all shades and finishes will continue to trend in 2018. Metallic makeup came out everywhere. Stila Magnificent Metals, BH Cosmetics Eyelights, Ofra Metallic Lipsticks, Colourpop Supernova Shadows. The list goes on and 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 on. And on. Work subtly by swiping a clear lip gloss shot through with holographic shimmer over your favorite lipstick. Okay, now this one I actually think is really pretty. This one is the Ofra Cosmetics Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in Atlantis. Okay, number 10. Thick Lashes. Okay, now let's be real. I mean... There's nothing new about this trend. Beauty gurus and Jenna Marbles have been doing the hundred layers of something since forever and an age ago. 
Harper's Bazaar should do an article on Jenna Marbles and put her on the runway because she is the original YouTube beauty guru makeup tutorial queen. <laughs> but for the sake of this video and giving Harper's Bazaar a little bit of uh, credibility, I'm going to put on some super thick lashes and uh, layer on the mascara. So rest in peace my eyes when I try taking off all this makeup. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. That lash band is hurting my eyes. Do not try this at home. And this is the finished look. Okay, now, final thoughts. You tell me, is this what the beauty gurus have been looking like in 2018? Have these really taken off? <laughs> I don't know, tell me. Have I been living under a rock? Is someone out there doing this? I mean, I guess we have another four months in 2018 for the rest of the world to catch up with Harper's Bazaar and look like a celebrity on the runway catwalk. Okay, so uh, I guess that's it for this video. If you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. I'll see you in my next video, bye. Uh, um, hmm, mm, blah, blah, blah.